Hello again, here is another pickup I made from the uh, Leap Day baseball card show in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I'm surprised that I am not familiar with this set. Um, it probably was really expensive when it came out, because it is upper deck, and it is a holographic card set made in 1992. At the same time, there are 216,000 of these made, and you'd think with that many that I would have come across this at some point, but I really have no memory of it. Now, the price is only $2, and I thought, you know, it's probably uh, something that's worth $2 easily, and uh, I checked on eBay, and it doesn't really, you can't really compare it to eBay because no one can get a box this size uh, to you for $2, but the cheapest one on eBay was uh, nine fifty. I will say that there was a shrink wrap on it, um, and this one doesn't have a shrink wrap, on it, so I'm going to have to hope that everything is in here, but um, yeah, I started collecting in 91, and uh, so uh, just when I was really collecting uh, seriously in the, the years after that, you'd think that I would have uh, come across this at some point, but this is a holographic set. I hope it, we can get it to uh, look good on the camera here, so I am going to uh, box right here, and open it up and see what we have on the inside. First of all, we have on the size of a baseball card, we have a certificate of authenticity of Griffey. And uh, so it's, this is set number 122,320. You think of today's one of ones. And if there was a card number today of uh, out of 216,000, um, it wouldn't have any premium whatsoever, but I should put that with my Griffey cards. That's pretty neat. So hopefully these look good on camera. I think that if I get it in the light just right. But we have... I uh, also noticed that this is a set of 54 cards. And I'm thinking this was before uh, the Diamondbacks, before the Marlins, before the Rockies. We had uh, 26 teams at the time. So that would be two players per team would be 52 so maybe there's like a couple card checklist on here but uh we have terry pendleton and uh, let me set that on the ground so i don't scratch these up next up is a cal ripkin my wife is going to uh want to take that one away from me i've these do not look familiar to me uh jim abbott now i do remember how uh, upper deck about that year had a um the the picture of uh, Abbott where it was multiple uh, views of him making one pitch so uh, looks like there's uh, five different images kind of superimposed all together and I haven't looked at the back yet so coming back up here to uh, the oh these first two must have been checklists because Pendleton was the NL MVP and Ripken was the AL MVP so the first two are checklists and so on the back we just have a uh, kind of a paragraph on the player and a color picture Next up, I see uh, Roberto Alomar. I've got him uh, sliding into base there. From the Royals, we have Kevin Apier. It's holographic, but it's not as three-dimensional as the first two were. From the Braves, we have Steve Avery. Was he really the best pitcher in uh, 91? I felt like he was, I remember he was a hot prospect, but I feel like he was probably fourth on the staff that had Maddox, and well, no, Maddox came later, so still had uh, Glavin and uh, Smoltz then. Did I say Smoltz came later? Is Maddox that came later? Well, I'm confusing myself, but uh, <laughs> next we have Bagwell. I was a fan of his uh, back in the day. From the Indians, we have uh, Albert Bell. I guess these are going to be in alphabetical order after the first two uh, checklist cards. And it's neat how it's a hologram, but it also has uh, some color to it. From the Padres, we have Andy Bennis. Wade Boggs. Again, we have kind of the, uh, the three different images of one swing there, so that's kind of cool. Barry Bonds. I certainly was going to expect a set like this to have all the hot players of the time. Another reason why it's worth spending two dollars on this. George Brett. Uh, 
Yvonne Calderon. Hadn't thought of uh, him in a while. Jose Canseco. Will Clark. Roger Clemens. David Cohn. That's another one that my wife is going to steal from me. She was a Cohn fan. Doug Drabeck. Dennis Eckersley. Got a twin. We've got uh, Scott Erickson. From the Tigers, we have Cecil Fielder. Got to get these in the light just right. Uh, this might be the best card of the set. We've got Griffey. That is nice. From the Tigers, we have Bill Gullickson. This is a Blue Jay. We have, uh, I'm not completely sure I remember Juan Guzman. I'm sure he doesn't remember me either, so that's okay. From the Astros, we have uh, Pete Harnish. Hojo. The other Mariner, we've got Randy Johnson. John Cruck. Got a red. Uh, we've got uh, Barry Larkin. Greg Maddox. I was right. He wasn't a uh, a brave yet. Gonna make it look like he's not wearing a red uniform there. Having trouble getting that one in the light just right. From the Expos, we have uh, Dennis Martinez. And then Ramon Martinez, we've got another of those uh, multiple images stitched together. And I'm trying to remember if the uh, the 92 Upper Deck base cards um, had these images in it. I, I seem to remember it from Jim Abbott, but uh, I don't remember it from the others. Uh, we've got uh, Mattingly. Blackjack McDowell. From the Padres, we have Fred McGriff. And uh, weird how some of these have uh, little dents on them right there. Uh, this, you know, was not sealed, so maybe someone had done uh, something to them. You know, at least played with them for a while. We've got uh, Paul Malder. From the Indians, we have Charles Nagy. From the Orioles, we have Greg Olson. Another brave, Terry Pendleton.
From the Twins, we have Kirby Puckett. I'm hoping the Ranger in this set is going to be uh, Nolan Ryan. I got uh, Luis Polonia. The only other good pitcher they had back then was Kevin Brown. We've already passed that, so you don't think they would have uh, missed on an opportunity to put a Ryan card in one of these. But here is Dave Rigetti. And a red Jose Rijo. You can see uh, his sweat come through on, uh, on the front of his uh, jersey there. Cal Ripken. Here is our Nolan Ryan. And as a Ranger collector, I have never seen that card before. If I'd seen this card at the show for $2, I would have bought it, probably. Or any show from the last 28 years. Sandberg. Yeah, these, these cards are kind of uh, slow to show off. It's you know taken me uh, 11 minutes so far just to get this far in the video, because it's just trying to show off the... Uh, the hologram features. We've got another Yankee of uh, Scott Sanderson. The other Ranger, we've got Ruben Sierra. From the Cardinals, we have Lee Smith. From the White Sox, we have Frank Thomas. From the Cardinals, Ozzie Smith. And then from the Dodgers, Daryl Strawberry. Bill Wegman. And our final card is going to be Mitch Williams. So now that we've looked at all these cards several times and I have admitted that I was not familiar at all with this set, do the rest of you have were you familiar with the set? You already own, uh, you know, several thousand copies of it, and I just somehow missed out all these years. Or uh, was it that it used to always run for thirty bucks, and uh, I just uh, never wanted to pay that back in the day? But now for two dollars, it was all over it. So let me know if this is something you were familiar with, because I certainly didn't. But uh, if you like this video, please. Uh, catch your interference that uh, like button and the subscribe button and tell me if you like these kind of videos where I open up uh, just random things that I uh, find um, I also uh, look at coins that I've purchased and other collectibles and I also take pictures in and around the Nashville Tennessee area thank you for watching bye